Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to another LEGO review. Before we get started, I just wanted to clarify some things. In case you didn't see my community post and my post on my Instagram story, there's been a lot of concern by people wondering two things. First of all, the LEGO Star Wars series is not coming. That's why you didn't see it on anyone else's channels reporting on it or anything like that. Um, as well as Justin and I are 100% fine. <laughs> it was just a joke that we both uh, came up with together for an April Fool's. I was going to do a connected video, but uh, I thought of the Star Wars one, and I thought that was going to be better. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the concern and the support that I saw yesterday. It was really great to see, um, especially when I was doing the Fortnite live stream. Uh, you guys are really great about that. But anyways, here is set number 30452, and it is... Iron Man and Dummy. This is a Avengers Endgame polybag promotion, and uh, I like it a lot. It actually is an exclusive figure, technically speaking, because, of course, Iron Man in the Quantum Realm suit does not come in any other of the sets. Let's take a closer look at the set itself and breaking it apart. First, we'll start with Dummy, and he actually does come in another set. He comes in the Iron Man Hall of Armor set so it's a little strange here also he has a flame rather than a fire extinguisher so i guess he's causing fires i don't know but i just thought that's interesting he is a very similar build so maybe it's the other robot i don't even know the other one's name you can see it does have a lot of good uh articulation and everything you can even turn that it's just it's harder because you can break it off the flame but uh yeah that's pretty cool and the wheels there you can technically move it Sorry, it has to be bent a certain way to move. But uh, you can technically move it around, and the wheels do spin because of the little uh, attachments that they're connected to there. Um, again, a little different, uh, but let's take a look at Iron Man now. So here he is. Again, he comes on a stand, so it's hard to get him in shot. But uh, that is pretty cool of them to include. If you turn it around, you can see that piece is in silver, which comes in the... A lot of the Avenger sets, it's pretty common there, uh, but it's nice to get in the nice pearl silver. Turning it around, uh, yeah, you can see that the flame pieces there are meant to represent the thrusters from his boots, and the flat studs is also for his repulsors on his hands. I don't think that the other sets have that. I guess that's the new style for the repulsors on his hands, but let's take a closer look at him. All right, and here is Iron Man in his... I don't know actually what mark that is underneath the Quantum Realm suit. Um, could be the Mark 85 or the one from Endgame, or Infinity War, sorry. And yeah, just looking at the back print, I really do like the Quantum Realm suits. I don't mind them as much, I think, as other people are complaining about. Um, but it has some really nice printing. And I like the leg printing there as well. That looks really cool. And it has some nice boot printing on the bottom there. I like the Avengers logo on the chest, of course. And just the pattern that that gives off. You can really see it better there on the legs. Um, but I think that looks really awesome. Of course, if you flip his helmet up, it's just the exact same face from the Infinity War sets and the other Endgame sets with his heads-up display on the back there, and that's pretty cool. So that is the whole set. I've never really done a polybag review before. This is the first one, I think. A little short and just to and just to clarify some stuff. So the plan here for April is to hopefully I'm going to try and get a video out every single day because I do have a ton of LEGO sets to review and I have a ton of other video ideas. And now that school's pretty much done for me, I'm going to be able to do a lot more on YouTube, so I'm really excited about that. Anyways, everyone, what do you think of this set? There is a number of ways that you'll be able to get this. It will be a Lego store promotion, I think, in some countries. I don't know about everywhere, um, but I picked this up at Walmart along with two other ones uh, only for $5, I think, $4.99. So I'm not sure what the American price is. I think it's $3.99 for poly bags. Uh, so I know it's popping up there as well. So take a look there at your local Walmarts. Hopefully you can get it there instead of having to spend money and get the promotion. I'd save buying sets for the Avengers Tower promotion, but that's just my opinion. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this set? I think it's really great, and it technically is an exclusive figure, so it's pretty cool. I hope that you all have a great day and not a mediocre day, and I will see you all in the next one.